Man, is it hot in Pennsylvania today. It's not even 12 o'clock in the afternoon and it's I'm already melting. I am so ready for fall. I want cooler temperatures and colorful leaves. The older I get, the more I hate hot. I, I just, I don't like it when it's this hot. I like, I'd rather be cold than be hot. A couple of years ago when I was down in New Orleans, uh, the hotel that I stayed at, this lady who was taking care of me there, the maid, she, uh, she was born and raised there and she said to me, now I was down there in Jan this was January when I was down there. It was, you know, highlight of winter and whatnot. And it was, I was walking around in a short sleeve shirt. Some people were in shorts. That's how warm it was. She said, if you think it's warm now, she said, you need to come down in the summertime. She said, it's unbearable. And she was born and raised there. And she said, it's, it's almost, it, at times it's intolerable. A lot of heat strokes occur in that state. <laughs> so anyways, with that said, I hope we're, wherever you guys are at, you're much cooler. We're going to go explore the beaver dump here. I guess there's a dump in Beaver, Pennsylvania. There's still a couple of dumps in Beaver County for you folks who live in other states. I remember the one garbage dump Aliquippa had. And my father told me, he's like, we were driving on this road and it was way, you know, up on Plan 11 on the other side, up that road that takes you, you know, to the top hill through Manaka. That's where Aliquip used to, there was a location where Aliquip used to dump their garbage there. I don't think they do it anymore, but it was a big hillside. And I said, Dad, I said, that looks like it's sculpted. He said, it is. He said, that's where Aliquip used to dump their garbage. It was huge. It was enormous. This is not a garbage dump. This is more like a, how can I say it? Yard dump. Outdoor dump. Bricks trees, shrubs, bushes, all that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of other shit here too, as you can see. I don't know what all these bricks are doing here. There is a crap load of bricks here. They're all just sitting here. They've been here for years. I don't know who they belong to and why they got rid of them. Because if you look, look at this. They can all be repurposed. There's buttloads of them. There's ones that you can't see, they're in there. It's just crazy. Recognize the bridge? I certainly got enough pictures of it. Yeah, there's a lot more here. But you gotta there you gotta go through these weeds and stuff, and I'm not doing that. There's more bricks and they got writing on them over there, but I don't know what they, I, I can't read them. There's too many bees buzzing around or I'd go get one. I'm not gonna get stung by a yellow jacket. There's two things I hate in life, bees and rats. Bees I can tolerate, rats I have a zero tolerance for. More, look at all these bricks. Look, just look at them. It kinda smells back here. Lots of vegetation, I and mean, it's a very hot day, and there's hardly any air. Unless the microphone manages to pick up this slight breeze, but trust me, it's hot. That's the Ambridge Water Authority, or Ambridge, <laughs> that's the Beaver Water Authority over there. What was I thinking of Ambridge for? Oh, I know why, because I was thinking about Ambridge Reservoir, which I haven't been to in a very long time. Who has been there? Let me know in the comments below. What's it look like? Send me some pictures. I haven't been down there for a long time. I should go down there. I used to love that place. This looks like part of a telephone pole. Don't it? No? Nah, it's just the way it's sold. I gotta tap my screen because I can't see what I'm filming. It goes dark after so much time passes. Yeah, this is a very bad dumping ground. And see, just over there, you see over there? There's some tunnels over there. That's what I filmed the other day and showed you guys. This is a sort of a continuation, if you will. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is all garbage. Wow. Oh my lord. 
just look at that. That shouldn't be legal. Look at all this crap. Let's go over here. See, that's where, they, that's where everybody dumps. All their trees and shrubs and all that stuff from their yard. The borough does too in the public parks and whatnot. Can still hear them locusts. I thought they'd be dead by now. There's a lot of wood here. You got a fireplace, man. I mean, you'd have to do some serious chainsawing anyways to get it down to size, but to fit it properly in your fireplace, but hell, it's better than buying it. Here's an old telephone pole. You don't use that one no more. Wow, look at all these steel beams. I wonder where these are from. They're not very heavy. I thought they were heavier. Oh, can you see the humidity? <laughs> I'm like melting right now as I'm making this video. I am not kidding you. What the hell is this? Somebody built something out of bricks. Uh, see? Ah, right there. Not only is that a nice, uh, stump to sit on but would look good in the fireplace probably look better on a back porch so if you had a log cabin type setting what's over here there's a sliding board over here this must have been from one of the old playgrounds up uptown up on the hill just sitting here rusting away that looks like it could be repurposed too yeah Then the only thing they have up here is uh there's no other pole pole. Some more bricks. There's trust me, there's a lot more bricks, you just can't see them right now because of the vegetation. Let's go up here real quick. Let's go. This is where they dump a lot of uh slag and concrete and that kind of stuff. Always look on the ground for stuff. You never know what you can find down here. I find a couple of pieces of uh, interesting historical artifacts that I'll show, share with you guys at a later date. Nothing of any monetary value, but certainly historical. I thought somebody was up here earlier because I wanted to show you this. There you go, guys. There's your drop off. Whoa, check that out. They, I scared them. They scared me too. Looks like they dumped some new stuff here because this wasn't here yesterday. this that was not here yesterday because I checked see the big tire tracks they dump well they dumped a lot more I would not want to fall down there that would hurt
Okay, guys, that's the end of this tour. There's more to come. Like, subscribe, share your comments, share your memories of Beaver County, and let me know what you think of this video. Try to stay on the cool side until the arrival of autumn.